excuse the hair because I don't feel like doing it yet. Hold up, I just wanna show you what we made. And it's off brand. Uh, I don't know if there's a regular brand of this. You might be able to find Pillsbury version, but this is the turtle uh, cinnamon roll. It is delicious. So there's little chocolate chips, pecans, and caramel on it. I'm so excited to eat this. Kiefer already dug in, as per usual. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. No! So, it's not a surprise, but his isn't as pretty anymore. Granted, I also ate a donut. And he called me fat. I did. But I'm just gonna go and enjoy this anyways. I don't care what you think about me. He's gonna leave me for someone skinnier and prettier than me. Myself. I clone myself. And date myself. So he's gonna leave me for himself. And Dante. Dante. I am just having the worst hair day today. It's just not, it's just not, just doesn't want to do what it wants. It just doesn't do, want to do what I want. It's doing what it wants. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say because it's making me frustrated. But I decided that fuck it and I don't care right now. I'm just going to look like garbage because I wanted to show you something that I just got in the mail. And I'm super excited. I'm sure some of you people are huge fans of this. Me included. I remember growing up with it. Um, and loving every ounce and the newest ones coming out soon and they have like some in-between ones But I really don't play those But I'm a huge fan of the Kingdom Hearts games and I used to have them both I don't know where they went and I went to go look for them and I couldn't find them So I just decided to go on Amazon and like buy them and they're like legit brand new like in the plastic and everything I am so excited so in the the excitement of the brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out soon. I've decided that I'm going to play through these. And I'm super excited. I'm super happy that I got them again. Because Kiefer said he never played them either. So I was like, uh, I have to buy them for not just me, but for you to play. Because you're going to love them. Because he likes games like um, Dark Souls and Bloodborne. He likes those types of games. And I feel like those... The, the style of fighting is very similar to this, so I think he'll like this a lot. Especially the fact that since there are Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters, and I'm sure some of you are looking at me like... But, trust me, if you're into games and you like something fun to play, these are good, great, good games to play. Great ones, actually. Um, so if you have the PlayStation 2, I would suggest it. I think they remade it. They remastered them into in the PlayStation 4 or 3, I'm not 100% sure. You'd have to check on that one. But if they did, I'd suggest uh, getting them. And if not, then PlayStation 2 is like super cheap, guys. Like you can get one like super cheap. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. Uh, and these were cheap. These are like $14 each. Like $14 for really great games, amazing stories, fun characters. Um, I mean, obviously, because it's Disney. And I'm super excited to see what they do with the third one because there's been. I don't even know when this one came out. This one came out 2007, it looks like. And this first one came out in 2002. It's been years, years since these came out. So I can only imagine from 2007 to 2017, that's 10 years, like the difference. I remember playing the second one back when I was in high school. Wow, that's so long ago. <laughs> Um, but I just remember playing these games and they're so crazy, like, they're so fun. So I suggest you guys pick these up and play them if you haven't already. So, here's my suggestion of the day. Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes, I'm so excited! However, I will say, it is slightly, like, blurred. And I'm not sure if that's because it's the the TV to old gaming console <laughs> resolution issue, but that might annoy me in in the future. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Guess where we are? Take a wild guess. Let's be honest. <laughs> where do we ever America's go? America's favorite place. <laughs> the International House of Pancakes. Well. It is, I don't want that. It is definitely Witty's favorite place. Mm. 
you know, you want to know how many mozzarella sticks is enough? <laughs> not that's not damn enough. Not nearly enough. <laughs> when y'all order cheese sticks, <laughs> and it still ain't enough. <laughs> these are huge though. Like, it's, it's hard to reference because they still look small, but when you see them in life, real life, they're like fucking huge. Bitch, yeah. Well, then Tim accidentally got the wrong thing, but he likes it more than he probably would anyways. <laughs> That thing's ginormous. It it's is. fucking huge. I'm not, definitely not gonna finish that. And this guy, all chicken and waffles over here. Uh, chicken and waffles is what I do. Do you think you're in the hood? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Roscoe's at? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to. Where are we off to? 7 Eleven. 11 Sevens. We're off to 11 Sevens. Um, we just had a, a fantastic meal at the IHOP. Yeah, I'm stuffed. I know, I always wanna die what? after I get out of IHOP. It's probably the first time that I actually took something to go, like, from IHOP to. I was just, like, that full. Get one of these I, fucking omelets, though, man. Yeah. You get one Which one did you get? The Colorado? I got the Colorado. That shit <laughs> Accident. Was stacked. But yeah, yeah, it was huge. It yeah. was, like, literally the size of my head. It was yeah. that big. It was. It looked good. It smelled good. It had meat in it, so I wouldn't eat it, but it looked good. It has all the things. I can say that it, it, it officially looked good. It's sausage, hot roast, cheese, peppers, and onions. Delicious. Yes. For meat eaters. There's also eggs. And <laughs> oh yeah, did we forget to mention eggs? <laughs> but today, do we just okay? Well, today we're establishing uh, that we are doing the what are we doing? The whisper challenge. I don't know who's doing it. One of us, two out of the three of us, will be doing the whisper challenge today. So look forward to that when this comes out because that should. I yeah. explained it like eight more. No, you see two people. I have no idea what this thing is, I'm not gonna lie. It's, well, I mean, well, Adam explained it. Like, I, I explained, like, well, Markiplier has a song. Adam said there was no there's, you okay. could just, you could do it with just two people. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> like, it's not really, it's not really a, like, there's no, like, score. I mean, there might be in some people's versions, but there's not really a score. It's just, like, whether you can do it or not. Okay. Like, it, well, it's just kind of funny. So, Tim's excited. Granted, Tim's got some beef with the, the title of this I challenge. Do. I do. Because you're not actually whispering. Yeah, it's more like yeah. the lip sync yeah, challenge. Or read my lips. I read think my should, lips challenge. I think challenge. we should call it the read my we lips We should call challenge. it that, but at the same time, if we call it the read my lips challenge, no one will know what the fuck it yeah, is. It be because it's tagged incorrectly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have and to call it. There will be no SEO on the video. Right. <laughs> so we need to call it the whisper challenge and then just like totally own it when it starts. Like you may be watching this and thinking it's the whisper challenge, but really it's the fucking lips. So what? It's a takeover, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Read my lips. Read my lips challenge. That's the word. I keep saying lip sync and I'm like, that's not it. But we're off the 11 sevens and we're going to get some drinky goodness and then go back and do the oh, whisper challenge. And yeah, hopefully they'll have Tim's 1893. Yeah, the one by the apartment, Chad. They had it there. The one by my old apartment. Yeah, buy one get one fucking free too. Really? Yeah, it was the shit. Well, well, hopefully this one has it because we we really they had it one time and after that. <laughs> yeah, it's been really it's been pretty funny actually. They did have they, yeah they didn't even have the red Red Bull which is Tim's favorite the cranberry flavored ones. The yellow ones also. I do like the yellow. The other one's probably my favorite, but I get tired of it too easily, so I stopped getting it. I am sorry that my vlogs have been a little late, <laughs> especially since I was like, oh man, I'm totally gonna like catch everything up as it goes. I, you know, it didn't, especially like after Florida, I got really lazy. Sorry about that. But I'm starting to get back on track. I'm in the new year now, officially, in my vlogs, which that's great. I just posted that one. Granted, that was supposed to go up this morning. I forgot about it, and um, it ended up going in the evening. So, sorry about that. But today is uh, the inauguration of Trump into his presidency. And you know what? It is what it is, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm not necessarily upset about anything that's happening. I'm just curious to see what's gonna happen. You know, a lot of people are excited, a lot of people are upset. I'm in the middle being like, uh, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I mean, I, it's not the person I want, but that might not necessarily be a bad thing. I'm holding out hope that the good things are gonna happen. So, Trump, if you're watching this, I know you're not because you're an awful person, but if you're watching this, I'm holding out hope that you're gonna do good for the country. So, I'm, I'm taking this in stride right now. 
But anyways, I'm about to make dinner. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do this thing where I'm, I get motivated and to do stuff. And so today's motivation is to make dinner. And these look weird in a bag. Like when I hold it like this, it look like two giant nuts. Like, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> anyways, I'm gonna make some potatoes, um, some fake meatballs with barbecue sauce on them, and then some green beans in a can because I'm not that, uh, I don't feel like cutting up green beans or anything, so I'm gonna do uh, just things in the cans. Things in cans, frozen. The only thing I'm gonna do is actually cut up the potatoes and mash those myself. I'm gonna do that because those are the best types of uh, potatoes. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do now. I was going to do uh, something I was requested of me to do, and I have actually been putting this off because I wanted, wanted to do this in a video, in a vlog, but I haven't done it yet. So, um, it was requested of me to do a, my reaction to Ed Sheeran's new song. Um, I don't even know what the name of it is. That's how much I've been avoiding it. I don't even remember the name of his song. So, I'm going to listen to it right now. I've actually met Ed Sheeran once, so I'm excited to hear it. He's a really nice guy, and I want to support his music, so I'm hoping it's good. Because I'm not going to lie. I don't lie on my vlogs. Um, or anything I do. I don't really lie at all. I try not to. Unless it's like... To, to lead up to a surprise party or something. Like, oh, you're not having a surprise party. Stuff like that. So, let's listen to Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran and I'll give you my reaction. I like the... When I, was six years old, I, I like the beat so far. It's kind of uplifting. I like uplifting stuff, especially right now because of winter. So far, it reminds me of um, early Maroon 5. Like, back early 2000s Maroon 5. So, that's so far. Which is a good thing. I love, I, I'm a big fan of Maroon 5's earlier stuff. So Alright, I like the fact that he's like, this is very different, not very, but more different than stuff he's done in the past. So, I like that a lot. I like it. It's a little bit different than what he's done in the past, so that's kind of a good sign. Um, I always say, I don't know if I've always said it in this, but in in my lifetime, I always say it's a weird gamble with music. There's those there's those artists that you know that no matter what they do, they're always gonna have that sound that you're gonna you're, that you rely on. Like Disturbed. I don't know if you know the Disturbed. Down with the sickness. You know that that band. They always sound like Disturbed. They always sound exactly like what you, what you expect dis, uh, Disturbed to sound like. Which isn't a bad thing. They have so many great songs. Some of the newer stuff is not as great as some of their older stuff. But, like, collectively, good band. Then, there's other artists who you can listen to and then each one of their songs is just, like, so different than the other. Rihanna is a good example of this because she does some like light stuff. She does some like really um, rappier kind of stuff. She does more like it just depends on what what mood you're looking for, and then, and that's kind of cool. I like that too. But then there are artists that do that and don't do it well, and then there are artists who sound too much the same that it's just not good. So <laughs> I can't like I always sit there and I hate when I say like, oh, it's so much different than what they did before. Well, is that a good thing? I don't know. I guess it always depends on the song. So, I try to think of it as a song and not as an artist because that'll, that'll prevent me from getting too jaded, I guess. Like, also, when you talk about a person, say you don't like Justin Bieber as a person, but you like his music. It's, that's kind of me. Like, I like some of his songs. And I like his music, but I think he's a terrible person, <laughs> to be honest. Got a great body. G great body. But he seems like a douche, and I'm sorry about that. And here is the result of my mashed potatoes, fake meatballs, which you can see right there, covered in barbecue sauce and green beans. You know what's funny? I love barbecue sauce, but like... I've only gotten into barbecue sauce to this level because of Kiefer. Because he has a like a love for barbecue sauce that you would never know. Like, it's really weird. Especially for someone that doesn't eat meat. <laughs> he has a weird love for barbecue sauce. But it's good, and I'm excited. <laughs>